Sat down with CBS this morning, Gail King. Whenever I'm offered a secret, what I'm interested in when I get it is what I mean. Who was that character and why did they want me to play it? And when I get to the point where I feel like her skin has fitted my arm or my mind, then I know there's something about her. From a sharecropper's wife to former slave, Tyson embraced her roles with vigor and humility. Born in Harlem to West Indian immigrants in 1924, Tyson started her career as a model who transitioned into playing bit parts. I was a very shy, shy child. If you got 15 minutes of birds out of me, you got plenty. You know, I was a thinker. But her career was delayed until her 30s when she found herself pregnant at 17 and in an unhappy marriage that only lasted two years. What are you doing, Mom? <laughs> her breakthrough performance came in 1972 playing Rebecca, the wife of a Louisiana sharecropper in Sounder, a performance that won her an Oscar nomination. I'm born on 10 years old. She received widespread acclaim two years later with a versatile performance as former slave from the ages of 23 to 110 years old and the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. That role came just as black women were beginning to get lead roles and earned a Tyson two Emmys. The Kennedy Center honoree also won countless other awards, <laughs> including a Tony and an honorary Oscar. What you doing? How do you go? Tyson appeared in more than 100 roles on stage and screen in a career that spans seven decades. Her most recent was in 2020 in the Tyler Perry movie, A Fall from Grace. Don't make me go back to She said all of her roles were her favorites. Tyson was married twice. Her last marriage was to the late jazz icon Miles Davis. They divorced in 1989. President Obama awarded Tyson our nation's highest civilian honor, the Medal of Freedom, in 2016. Chris Martinez, CBS News. Tyson's performances illuminate the character of our people and the extraordinary possibilities of America. shame that I would have to be known as the most foremost black actress of our time. Why? Because I would like to be known as a good actress of our time. Across eight decades in show business, the veteran of TV, the stage, and screen earned a reputation for playing strong women, netting for countless honors. All these awards that come... <laughs> What's up? <laughs> but Cicely also gained recognition for fighting for equality, earning the Presidential Medal of Freedom and the Kennedy Center Honor. It wasn't money that I was interested in. I was interested in making an impact on people of the world about us as a race of people. I can't. I can't. I, I can't. <laughs> she literally I can't. Can't. Oprah, Ava DuVernay, Carrie Washington, so many women of color in Hollywood were mentored by the icon. 
How does that feel when you look back over this audience of all these women you inspired? To have done what I did and make a mark, I did what I was doing. I knew ultimately that if I married anybody, it would be Miles Davis. She found love with the legendary jazz trumpeter when they first started dating in the 60s. Cicely nearly left the business entirely. I was perfectly willing to give it up then and just be with him. People began to make both of us very conscious of the fact that I had a talent which was being wasted and that I should really get back to work. And he began to feel a little guilty about it, too. After her film career took off in the 70s, they finally said, I do. How does it feel to be married? I'm deliriously happy. I could not be happier, really. Their marriage would ultimately end in divorce in 1989, two years before his death. But Cicely would continue to honor Miles every year. I go down to a club uh, where Miles used to play every year on my birthday. Ain't got no husband, ain't got no boyfriend, and you hold up in this bed like the queen of Sheba. As for her TV family, Cicely Tyson was honored when Viola Davis asked her to play her mom on How to Get Away with Murder. But she went a little too method her first day on set. Viola was standing at the door to welcome me. And because in the script, she and her mother had an estranged relationship, I just walked right by <laughs> her. The role earned Cicely five Emmy nominations. She won three Emmys, an honorary Oscar, Peabody, Tony, and in 2020, was inducted into the TV Hall of Fame at age 95. But despite all the recognition, don't ever give up. Cicely Tyson was never ready to slow down, especially in her fight for equality. The day that I think that I have arrived, I'm finished. I am still striving to get where he wants me to go. Amen, I'm a fighter. I was born a fighter. I will die a fighter. And I will fight all obstacles and probably die trying. But it's not going to stop me. Mm -hmm.